Hello, it's Boglin Zola, and I am back again with a Boglin toy haul, which I'm going to be doing a bunch of little reviews in this one video. Um, so a couple, a couple things. Um, I got an extra one of this of the Arco Boglin. And I have him for sale on eBay, so if anybody's interested, I will, uh, put a link to the eBay auction. And I'm not really going to review these mini Boglins, but this one has, like, ice cream on its head, and this one is, like, a life preserver. But, yeah... Um, I have all of these, and be looking forward to, uh, some really, really nice Godzilla reviews that are coming up. I'm gonna be reviewing this awesome Angiris figure, this awesome bootleg Mechagodzilla that I just bought, like, yesterday, because I'm spoiled. And, um, yeah, a bunch of more stuff. Also, yes, I am wearing a cast because I broke my hand. Don't ask. Um, yeah. So, I'll probably start this review smallest thing to biggest thing in, like, coolness. So, yeah, let's start off with the baby bottoms I got. They are cool. There's two of them in particular that I like. I like these two, because you don't see baby bottoms that look like that very often. They're like, in actual, like, stances like they're posing aside from the regular boggling thing where they don't have like anything going on but this one is like it looks like he's scaring somebody I don't know these guys names but I really like them I, I kind of came up with the names for them uh, I decided this one looks a lot like Drool. So I I just named him Baby Drool. He has like he has like the same type of features on his face, and he has like the ears sticking out, like him. I don't know. He just reminds me of him. And this I named him Boglin the Hut because he looks like Java the Hut from Star Wars. And yeah, they are really like rubbery actually, compared to some of the Boglins I have, they're really rubbery. Per perfect for around Halloween time, Boglins. Just like display them in your window or something. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite Boglins now. It's a little baby Boglins. They both have the holes to put your finger to puppet them. Which is kind of pointless, because you really can't do anything with them, with their features, by puppeting with them with your finger, but yeah. Anyways, he's like a purplish-blue color, and he has a little paint left over on his tail and stuff. It's not too noticeable, but I like him. And him... He's like yellow, and there's a little bit of green paint you can see left on him. And yeah, I really like these two guys. I've never really seen them on eBay posted without their eyes. They're always missing their eyes. In fact, there's a listing right now of them that is missing their eyes. And these are like in spectacular condition, these two. I like the sculpts a lot. Okay. Let's just look, let's put them back here. 
And then we just have this guy. Which I believe is Squidge. He looks a lot like Squidge. The bit, this is a baby version of him. But he's like this brownish color. And he also has a darker brown color that's like painted over him, which is kind of a nice touch. He's also very rubbery compared to most of my Boglins. Um, he's nice. You'll notice the normal baby Boglins you see most of the time are actually, he's actually bigger than these ones, but like slightly bigger. A slight difference, it's not by much. But that's pretty much these baby Boglins. So yeah. And now we have the Arco Schlurp Boglin, which there's been a lot of talk about. Oh, maybe it's not an actual official Boglin, but I can confirm that it is because it is modeled right after the Boglin Schlurp. And I've seen others that are modeled after all the other small Boglins, like Schlump and Spunk. And, and it's labeled the same thing under it most Boglins are labeled, which I will be able to show you in a minute, once I take him out of his cage. Um, yeah, he's pretty small. I'm not sure exactly size, but... He's small. Okay. He comes with his cage and everything, I guess. I guess this is everything. I mean, there's not really much known about this figure by Arco. But, okay, so, one thing that proves he's a Boglin is he says Seven Towns, Clark, Trotto, and Mass and 1987 and it says Arco inside of him which is the company probably can't really see any of that but yeah um yeah and on the bottom of the cage the bottom of the cage says Arco right there yeah and the chain is a nice little touch I like that yeah this Boglin, it's an actual, like, toy, and it has articulation. So, the arms both articulate around, and you can see the inside of him, it's all hollow. I don't know if they did that to make it look more like one of the regular puppets, or just to save money on use of plastic. Anyway. He's nice. I like, he's red. I like that he's red with this purple color, purplish pink color painted all throughout him. And the green eyes. And he looks all like scared with like big wide pupils. I, I, I don't know. I really like this guy so I had to pick him up. You know, you know how it is. And the detailing is just really nice. This is why I recommend you buy the one I posted on eBay. And then also, you got the cage, there's not much to it, it's pretty plain. And this. And you can strap him into the cage with this. And that's pretty much it. So yeah. On to the next review. And now we have, finally, the infamous mystery Boglin that nobody seems to really know anything about. Uh, recently I accidentally found a picture of an old eBay listing with one of these in it, but it was, it looked like Schlump. Um, which was a total accident. But other than that, nobody really knows much about it about this type because it's it's like a mad ball 
It's round. And I believe it used to squirt water. One, because there's a hole there. There's a hole there for some reason. And I extracted this tube from the inside of it that fits like right inside its mouth. Oh, and uh, also, you're not going to be able to see it, but I found like little remains of plastic tube somewhat like around the hole. Um, yeah. I mean, he's cool. The weird thing is, is the shalert boggle I have has parts, has part of its ear missing, and this one has two, like, bites or something taken out of both ears. It's in okay shape, I guess. I don't know if it came with anything prior. I mean, I guess it did because there was that tube, so I think there's something missing that the tube attached to. Like, I don't know if it came out from here or not, but yeah. Oh, and labeled Arco. 1987, Seven Towns, LTD, and China. And then there's this weird three with an upside down four. Or you could say it's a four with an upside down three. Who really knows? Because um, I don't. That's just really weird. I tried to squirt water out of him. It didn't work because there's two holes in him. So it's, it's missing something. Anyway, uh, it's... Looks like the base color is just yellow, and they sprayed some green on it, but it's ki mine's kind of beat up. I don't know. If anyone else out there has one of these, like, post pictures on Facebook or send them to me or something, or if you know anything about this boglin that nobody really knows anything about, the only thing I know about it is it is modeled after Slurp. And I can confirm that there are at least five others like it, because I saw that one that looks like Schlump, and there's six small boglins. So there's probably six of these at least. There's probably more than that. Anyways, he is like a ball. He's like a mad ball, blurt ball. He's like a mix between those two things. And he's squishy, which is cool. And then he has like blue eyes. I mean, there's not much to him. He's a ball. He's got his red tongue and the tooth painted and everything. I mean, I don't really know what to say about him when I don't know much about him. But I know everybody wanted to see him. So here he is. Uh, yeah. The mystery ballin'. And that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. So, be looking forward to my Godzilla reviews. If you're at all interested in my Godzilla videos, or if you're just here for the Boglins, I don't know. I don't know why you're here. It's YouTube, you tell me why you're here. But yeah, that's it. So, subscribe and like this video and like my Facebook page and yeah see you guys soon